In nature, each one of us like to be with someone. And that is what we call it as bonding. Thus, it applies with atoms as well. Do atoms like to combine with one another? Well, the answer is yes. Atoms do like to combine with one another. So, why do the atoms combine with one another? The atoms, they combine with one another in order to attain the stability. As we know, everything in this world wants to be in the stable form. If we look at the current pandemic scenario, you find almost all the countries across the globe is not at all stable. They are struggling very hard to retain to the stable form by eradicating this COVID-19. Well, in case of atoms, the stability here is to have the electronic arrangement of an inert gas. That is, either to have octet or to split in its outermost cell. So now, let us look at the noble gases. You see here, helium, neon, argon, krypton, xenon and radon. These are the noble gases. So helium has only two electrons in its outermost cell. Hence, it is termed as two plate. Whereas the neon, argon, krypton, xenon and radon, they have eight electrons in their valence cell. And hence, they exhibit this octet rule. If we see here, all these elements have their outermost cell complete. So, these elements are stable in nature. Stable in the sense, these elements are least reactive or highly unreactive in nature. As these elements are highly unreactive in nature so we call these elements as inert gases well we understood that apart from these elements all the other elements they do not have this stable configuration so that is the reason all the other atoms of the elements, they redistribute the electrons among themselves in order to attain the stable electronic configuration. So now, let us understand by taking the examples that how the atoms redistribute the electrons among themselves. So if you see here, the sodium atom and the chlorine atom. So as we know, the atomic number of sodium is 11. So the electronic configuration is 2, 8, 1. That is sodium has one electron in its outermost cell. Whereas when we take the case of chlorine atom, the atomic number of this element is 17. So the electronic configuration is 2, 8 and 7. So chlorine has 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 and 7 electrons in its outermost cell. As we see, the electrons that are present in the outermost cell or the valence cell, these are termed as valence electrons. So in the next step what happens is the sodium atom it loses one electron and attains the nearest noble gas configuration that is of neon. Whereas this chlorine atom it gains one electron from the sodium atom and attains the nearest noble gas configuration that is of argon. So as we see here sodium it loses one electron and attained the positive charge whereas chlorine it gained one electron and attained the negative charge as we know opposite charges attract each other so that generated a force of attraction between these two atoms and that force 
eventually led to the formation of a bond between these two atoms and that bond between these two atoms help the atoms to combine together and form a compound so now we understood that the cause of chemical combination the cause of chemical combination is that the tendency of elements to acquire the nearest noble gas configuration in their outermost orbit and become stable so now let us take a look in this picture you see here two atoms they are talking to one another so one is saying i am about to lose an electron the next atom says are you sure so in the next step what happens one atom lose an electron and attain the positive charge whereas the other atom it gained one electron and attain the negative charge so as we know the opposite charges attract each other so that generates a force of attraction and that force of attraction led to the formation of a bond between these two atoms and as the bond is formed between the two atoms of the elements we call this bond as chemical bond so now we can define the chemical bond as the force of attraction between any two atoms in a molecule to maintain the stability